Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to flash up to the newest uh, unified CM10 build. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the development thread for that particular ROM, the Jelly Bean CM10 thread. And on the very first page, we're going to find some download links. So what we want to do, in the very first, actually in the original post, as this loads so slowly, and you're hanging on every breath that I breathe, what we're going to find is that the OP gave us a link to the wiki. And that wiki has some links for us. It also shows us what is and isn't working and, and where the development status is on a series of projects that they've been working on for us. Okay, so in here you'll see these are quick links to farther down on the page. But when you look at the progress, we can see what's actually working, what is not working, what is working but maybe slow, what's been fixed. Farther down here, well, under the current build, we'll see whatever is what is the most current push they've given us. Right now we're on build number three, which is the convoluted crocodile. Of course, after we flash that, we know we have to download our Google Apps and have that flashed as well. And the developers have been kind enough to put together an additional installer called an Aroma installer with a series of other applications to help get us started when we put everything together. Once we've clicked on these links, they will have, they start downloading automatically and they've downloaded to our Thrive, we need to get them somewhere that we know they're going to be safe. Most people prefer to use uh, ES Explorer, File Explorer, I use Root Explorer. And when those have downloaded, they typically download to our internal SD card into a download file. So here they are. The latest build, the Thrive Pack 3 is our Google Apps, and the side pack itself is that package of applications designed to make things better for us as far as making it easier to install them later. What I have already done is I've copied these files and moved them over to my SD card external XD SD card which shows as SD card 02. I've put them in a download file there. The reason I've done this is some of the other ROMs out there they actually wipe your internal SD card as part of the process and if you've left them on your internal SD card they could be erased as well which could lead to some problems so I always move everything to my external SD card just in case now that they're downloaded I'm going to long press on the power button select reboot and tell it to go to recovery Now in this video, of course, as you saw, probably saw by the heading of the video, we're going to, this video is for the team win recovery installation process. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mount my SD card right off the rip so it's done right away. And because I want to do a clean install and make sure I have no uh, issues from previous builds coming in and affecting my current build, I want to start wiping and cleaning everything up so I have a fresh and clean install. So the first thing I want to do is a factory reset. Then I want to go ahead and wipe my cache. Wipe the Dalvik. And format the system. Now this seems a bit extensive, but it's just what we're making sure, of course, again, is that nothing that we've done previously on the previous builds is going to carry over into our new build and create any problems for us. So we've done, we've, we've wiped everything we needed to wipe, and we're going to hit the back button here, and we're going to tell it we want to install. Okay, now up here we can choose between our internal and external storage. I've chosen to use my external, like I said earlier, I moved everything over there. I'm going to pick the most current build which is build 3 convoluted crocodile 
in the future you'll be able to use 4, 5, and 6. It's not an issue. That's just the build I'm using at this time. Now one of the benefits of the Team Win is that instead of installing and then having to go back and select another one, I can select them all up front. So you can see here I told it to go ahead and install Build 3 and I can add another zip. The next zip I want to add is the Thrive Pack 3 which was the Google Apps that they set up for us. And then I'm going to tell it to in install the Side Pack. Go ahead and slide the bar and it will begin the installation process. The longest process out of these three of course will be the first one which is the update putting in the new Build 3 which is the unified build for 4.1 that they've given us. The reason it's going to take longer is because we're completely rebuilding and installing a new operating system essentially. Now you'll see here that it automatically began the installation of the second file, which was the Google Apps. Uh, we're using Clockwork Mod, we would have to actually go back, reselect it, and start the installation process all over again. So TeamWin has given us a shortcut by simply allowing us just to stack them on the front end. This is the third list. This is the side apps that they've gone ahead and given us the application files for in, up front. And we'll go ahead and install all these devices all these programs. I don't use Apex, I use ADW. And it'll ask us if we're sure and of course we say yes and you'll be able to watch the progress as it installs everything. At this point we've completed successfully installing all the files and the, the programs so we're simply going to tell it to reboot the system. It'll take a second to uh, process the commands and it should reboot. Now during this rebooting process you'll be at the boot screen for a while uh, where you'll see the Cyanogen Mod logo. This may take some time. Uh, don't panic if it takes a couple of minutes. Reason being is it's completely rebuilding new libraries and installing the whole new system all over again. It is essentially as if it's the first time you've ever turned your Thrive on. If you're stuck at this screen for 15 minutes, or if you're at this screen, your Thrive turns off, you get the Toshiba logo, back to the Cyanogen logo, it turns off, goes back to Toshiba and Cyanogen logos again. That's what we call a boot loop. If you've had that issue happen to you, you can basically do a battery pool, uh, reinsert your battery, hold down the volume up and power buttons at the same time, go back into recovery and attempt to reinstall. If uh, you continue to have that same problem again, it could be that you've had a bad download of the file and you can basically revert to a previous backup, uh, re-download those files and, and attempt another install. This should only take a couple of minutes. Like I said, if you're at this screen here for 10-15 minutes clearly there's an issue with the booting booting up. And there you have it. Of course as we go through the process it'll ask us to connect to the Wi-Fi networks available to us and it'll attempt to walk us through the build process. We'll skip this skip all of this and down here we're going to go into our settings scroll all the way down to about tablet and we're going to scroll down and you'll see we're running 4.1.2 and we're on the convoluted crocodile build. And that is how you install the latest builds using the wiki and team win recovery project. Thank you.